going to be my unboxing video for my Wilderness Light Ultralight Float Tube. It's the uh, Backpacker Pro from Wilderness Night. We'll see if you can read that or not. Uh, as you can see, came UPS and the, I guess, drop kicked it from, where did it come from? Iowa, looks like. So they drop kicked it all the way from Iowa. I'm not worried about the float tube. We'll see if the pump survived. Uh, let me grab a knife and get this thing opened up. There, back with my knife. See, homemade knife. Shout out goes to Trollski. Too bad I didn't win his knife giveaway. So, be careful not to uh, cut it open, right? I have my camera sitting on the fireplace because the um, oh good pumps in one piece because my um, oh, my tripod broke so uh, I got it with the pump you can see the little hand pump pretty lightweight looks like possibly instructions some packing material and the float tube with the logo pointed up hopefully you can see me in there Maybe you don't want to see me. So the pack is nice. I'm not really worried, like I said, I'm not worried about the float tube being damaged. In the poor shipping. Uh, it looks like the pump survived, so here it is. In its glory. Make sure you can see it. So this float tube looks like by what the manufacturer says plus the uh, other reviews I saw leads in at uh, just under four pounds. I'm hoping to use it backpacking. That was the main purpose for getting it. So let's piece of tubing for my adapter for the pump, I'm assuming. Hey. Oh, excuse me. Uh, invoice. And some safety stuff, how to transport, inflation, deflation, so general instructions, and a user agreement. So it's basically saying that, I'm just, without reading it all, uh, I uh, can't steal his design, and if I die while I'm using it, that's my problem. Uh, looks like I'm supposed to sign this and return it in the post paid addressed envelope. This is the uh, cover your ass part of the whole deal. So we'll look that over later. Sign it. I'd like to blow this up and see how it goes. I'm sure. Yep, valve there. This is the backrest part. And there's the inflator for the backrest part. Looks like another user agreement like that one. Um, let's see what happens here. Well, that's gonna be tired. I was looking at some uh, Bernoulli pumps online. It looks like this is an extra piece because there's already one there. We'll see how fast this goes.
So, looks like one inflation for that. Kind of some storage area above the backrest. We will uh, see if we can get this one pumped up. We'll count this through. Let me get this out of the way. Get this stuff out of the way. Maybe I'll make a pump with this, I'll love so much volume. Um, don't know if that's all the way inflated or not. Pretty close. So it looks like I have some storage here above the back rest. Storage here. And storage over here. Uh, these uh, clip straps are elastic for the uh, strip and apron, which comes with the tape measure. Nice. So like Velcro on the one side for easy entry and exit. We've got clips on the other three corners. There it is. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, Grab right handle back here. And the best part. Made in the USA. So I will put my extra extra piece back here just for safekeeping so I don't lose it. And that's it. I'll try to get another video where I am. Uh, ignore the dust. Hardwood floors. They just get dusty. Um, I'll let you know once I take it out. I don't know. How it does. But it was uh, over 300 strokes. Over 300 strokes to uh, get it filled up. And uh, I'll do some other method because I don't know, it probably only took three, four, or five minutes. I'll speed up through that part so you don't have to sit through it. Thanks for watching.